Hey yo, what's up YouTube? Today we're gonna take a look at the Modern Warfare 2 open beta maps and we're gonna make a tier list. I know we only have seven maps available to put in this tier list, but you know, we'll do with what we got. There is a lot of controversy involved with the maps. Some people either really hate the maps, some people don't like the maps, some people like think it's average. I don't think anyone really loves the maps like super passionately. So we'll see how I rate them. Let me know down below in the comments whether you agree or disagree and also let me know how you would rate them yourself. So I'm I'm excited to see what people have to say in the comments. But we're starting us off, we have Greenberg Hotel, I think it's called. And I'm gonna put it in the delete category. Dude, I hate this map so much. It is not it. I don't know if any of you guys feel the same way, but I've, I don't think I've ever had a good game on that map. And the play style, the flow of the map is just so awkward and weird. There's just so many different places people can come from. Now, I don't know if this is a map design issue or potentially like a sound issue, because if you try to flank, people will hear you from so far away like your footsteps are so loud so it's like impossible to maneuver the map in any way and sound is kind of an issue for every map not specifically hotel but i feel like it's just so it's amplified more in hotel moving on we have farm 18 i think it's called and i'm gonna put it in good I don't think any of these maps are elite. I'll just tell you guys right now, none of them are elite. None of them have impressed me that much. Let me know what you think about that in the comments, but I'm gonna put Farm 18 in good. I personally really love this map. I've had some decent games on it. It's very fun and you know nice to use the shotgun on. Yeah, I mean, you kind of just chill, hang out. Again, if you try to flank, you're pretty much screwed because footsteps are an issue, but it's an all right map. The colors are kind of dull and moody, but you know, what can you, what can you expect from Call of Duty, right? However, on the opposite end of the spectrum, we have Mercado which is a very colorful map and I'm gonna put that at good as well the colors are great it's a typical Call of Duty map you know the three lanes and then the like cross map sniping which is pretty cool you know it has potential it definitely has potential for different play styles it can suit different play styles by any means next we have I think this one is Saeed I still mix up the invasion slash ground war maps but this one is Saeed I'm gonna put them put it in average and just like most of the invasion ground war maps I'm gonna put all of them in average Honestly, I can speak for all three of them right now. So we have Saeed, and then this next one is the one they added today in the in the open beta on the 24th of September, which is Santa Santa Senya, I think it is. And then this one is Sarif Bay. I, I personally enjoy Sarif Bay the most out of all of them, so I'll put that first. They're all pretty average. There's nothing crazy. Granted, I haven't explored the entire map to get a perfect rating for it, but they're pretty average. There's nothing inherently wrong or bad about them. And one thing I did notice, though, for this Santa Senya map, it's massive like it's it turns into a running simulator just going back and forth that kind of sucks about that part but it is what it is what can you do right before we get on to this final map make sure you guys click that thumbs up button also subscribe to the channel we're so close to 800 subscribers my goal is to hit a thousand before the end of the year so if you enjoyed the content it would mean a lot to me if you could subscribe and help us out here we stream almost every day post videos multiple times throughout the week so we'd love to have you be part of the community and see you in the comment section or chat if it's a stream Thanks again. And finally, we have Valderas Museum. And I'd say this is a good map. Again, footsteps are an issue. I don't know if I can blame the map for that, but it's a pretty cool design map. You know, a lot of open area, some, some cool hallways and lanes to have some nice gunfights on. So I think that justifies putting it in the good category. Other than that, I don't really have any other critiques or criticisms. Like I said, Hotel is my least favorite map of them all. I don't know how you guys feel about it. That's just from what I've experienced. But yeah, let me know down in the comments below what you guys think about my list, whether you agree or disagree. I just want to hear what you guys have to say about it. With all that being said, I want to thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.